Hi, and good morning. Um, my name is Gina, and I'm also known as a conservative granny, and I would like to say thank you for joining me today. Um, I have uh, one subject that is really bothering me. Um, we have hearing a lot about now on the internet. We weren't hearing so much before after the elections, but now it seems like with these uh, certain movie act, movie stars and all that, um, it's starting to get put in there. Actually, I don't see much about it in, in there from the politicians, but of course they got what they wanted anyways. They got their votes. Uh, they uh, build most of the house. So, you know, and a few of them, they still try to work on taking over the world. You know, they got shot down because the votes were recounted. Uh, I don't understand why politicians and actresses are so in, into... Uh, these caravan immigrants that we have now seen many times uh, trying to break over the border wall, attacking the guards. But before these caravan immigrants arrived, they were told and they were warned what was going to happen if they tried to breach the border, which is exactly what they did to try to breach the border. The pepper spray was basically the, 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 least, uh, the least effect that would have actually, you know, caused you know, damage because other things would have, like rubber bullets would have caused bruises, um, you know, uh, regular gunfire would have caused death. The tear gas was basically the only thing uh, that that would do is basically make it a little bit hard to breathe every once in a while and then until that faded out and then um, it would uh, make them, uh, you know, their tears, their eyes tear up. But it wouldn't cause, it doesn't cause permanent damage like some of these other ways have done. And if you go to other countries, you will see that they will actually shoot you if you try to get over the, uh, their walls and their borders or if they, you try to enter illegally. So why it's only Trump's, uh, Trump is trying to protect our country that the only uh, time it's, you know, not it's unhuman is when Trump does it. Most of the people that were trying to... Um, get over the uh, the wall and they were trying to push it and they were they were attacking the officers that were protecting it. Um, they uh, were actually trying to climb it. And I was watching the video and I noticed a few times um, the faces that I could see, they were laughing and having a good time. It isn't Trump's fault why they got tear gassed. It is the fault of the parents that have brought their children there, knowing of all the warnings and everything, and they put their children in harm's way and the only people that were tear gassed were the ones that were trying to break through the wall. And they were violent. They were not, like Obama said, poor, unpoverished, uh, needy people. They, these people that tried to uh, try to get over our border and try to and attack the, the guards at the border, these people were violent. Do we really want these kind of people in our country? While millions of other people are waiting patiently I was looking at an interview uh, one day, and this Mexican lady, she has two chill, small children. She has been waiting patiently for three years to try to get to the border. And now all these immigrants come in, and their first choice. And she didn't she realize, you know, that's not fair. And it isn't fair. These people need to know that they need to come in the legal way. They have been told by Trump, but they refuse to listen. So anything that happens to these Caravan people that try to break over the fence, crawl over the fence, or attack the officers, these people know ahead of time what could happen. And they still do it anyways. So this tells me that most of them are not running for asylum. They're not running because they're afraid. They're, they're running because most likely they've committed crimes in their country and they have been uh, searched for. Because a month ago, there was another interview um, when a reporter interview, interviewed the immigrants, uh, one immigrant, and he was telling that the reason why he was coming, trying to get to the United States, because he was trying to run from his country because his country was charged with third-degree third, with third degree murder. So the thing is, we have to protect our country. No matter what these bleeding-heart politicians say, no matter what these bleeding-heart uh, actors and actresses say, we have not seen one of them, not one of them at the border, protesting at the border and, and trying to calm these people down and assure them that if they're patient enough, they will be uh, they will be given asylum, but they have to come in the legal way. No, all you hear is them complaining and crying and whining just to get on the news. If they cared anything about it, they would have done something about it.
or at least they would have tried to attempt to try to uh, uh, calm the situation. But the thing is, they're not doing anything but crying and whining. That's all they're doing. And these politicians that say, uh, oh, these immigrants need to come over to this country. It doesn't matter if they're legal or not, you know, just send them over. All these politicians and stuff, they live in picket, uh, uh, with picket fences, uh, uh, security guards. They live in these really high-class, uh, uh, well-secured buildings, uh, million-dollar homes. Um, so they don't have to worry about anything. These politicians and actresses and actors that are actually... Um, whining and complaining about the immigrants. Um, they want them to come over here uh, to be let in. Uh, they don't want to have them come in legally. They want them in here any way that possible. But you see, they are so concerned about these caravan immigrants that not one of them has gone to Mexico border to try to salvage the situation, try to help calm the people down. They haven't done nothing. They have stayed in there protective homes with the security guards um, and they don't have to deal with anything when they let these caravan immigrants especially these violent ones and I say that very very uh, um, factually these violent ones there was I guess they believe there was about 500 of them uh, they knew ahead of time what was going to happen to them so if they're that violent knowing that and they're going to put their children in this harm way, why in the world do, do these people, these politician actresses, think that these children or these people are going to be peace-abiding, law-abiding uh, citizens? They are not. And being the way that they are and everything, uh, we do need to keep this country safe, and we they do need to come in legally. We need to know who's in our country and why. And if these politicians and if these actresses and actors are so gung-ho in all this uh, uh, immigrant stuff, then why don't they give some of their money and try to finance a situation to uh, uh, resolve the situation, at least for a few of the families? But they're not doing that. They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything to try to help to um, get them over here uh, quicker. Um, they're, they're only the thing that they're doing is complaining because this gives them publicity. And the, the, what I understand is how these people, they're so concerned about these caravan immigrants, but there's no concern about the millions of homeless people, homeless families, veterans, that don't have a cage, so-called cage, to stay, live in. They're out in the street with their children. The shelters are over, overflowing, and they're worrying about these immigrants. These immigrants are doing well. They're in Mexico. They're eating. They have shelter. They have, they are doing pretty good uh, from the scenes that I've seen in the newscasting uh, on these news reports. They're doing pretty good. They're doing a lot better, a lot better than our, our homeless Americans. So we need to step up, all the, all us people, conservatives, liberals, whatever. Uh, we need to all work together and we need to stand up together and make sure that these other countries know that we're still the same strong country we've always been. And there's nothing that's going to tear us apart. But you see, because it's not a political thing, it doesn't earn votes. You know, they don't care about that. Um, only thing they care about is getting votes and, and being in the public spotlight. That's all. Um, and you can see that. And I don't see how so many people are so few. Just, it just boggles my mind how very selfish and very uncaring these people really are. The ones that pretend to care the most are the ones that care the least. Maxine, these, uh, Alyssa, uh, all these people that uh, are millionaires, they need to put their money where their mouth is. And stop acting like children. These people need to act their age. These people, the politicians, they're helping to run our country. If they don't stop what they're doing, and they don't finally uh, come to their senses and act like the, the age that they are, then our country's in serious trouble. I want to thank everybody for um, joining me and for subscribing, and I apologize for the video quality. I am, uh, for the first time, uh, making this video through my laptop because I'm away right now. I am in Tennessee. I uh, take care of my sick sister. And um, I will be back uh, in a couple weeks on my regular camera and with some more news. Um, and... 
I'm not trying to be, I'm trying not trying to be hateful because I know a lot of the uh, caravan immigrants have children and families. But the thing is, and you've got to realize that the ones that really wanted asylum, you know, they are basically being patient or they have decided to stay in Mexico. So in a way, it's kind of good that they are in Mexico because we have so for so long taken in Mexican uh, citizens um, that they wanted to come in over here uh, to in the United States. But now it's kind of refreshing to know that these, this immigrant situation is basically the Mexicans' problems. And I believe by the time everything gets done, I mean, the longer somebody is, uh, the longer somebody is in a situation, the more, uh, the more you'll learn about the people. So I'm hoping that um, in a way that them being stuck in Mexico uh, will actually kind of like weed out the bad ones from the good ones before they, before Trump decides to um, uh, give them asylum in, in, in the United States. And I don't blame him because he needs to know who those people are. He knows, needs to know who's violent, who's not. He's protecting our country. And if these politicians uh, and these actresses and actors do not like it, then they need to move to another country because our country comes first. Our safety comes first. Not publicity, not uh, um, not getting votes. Our, uh, our country comes first. And that's just the way it is. Uh, thank you and um, have a great night. Bye-bye.